Hey guys. Alright, so I am going to get us started on Godot. Um, the last video I did um, did not have the cursor in it, so we're going to, I'm redoing these videos right quick to get us started. So this is going to be get, getting started on Godot 3.1 first thing you're going to want to do is download Godot and you can do that by just going to Google and typing Godot. You can type download Godot. I think you could probably just find it with that. So here we go. Godot free engine open source. I'm going to click that. Download. And you are going to get the 64-bit version, which is right here. Um, the 32-bit version will work too, but most computers are probably you're probably going to want to stick with the 64-bit. If you can get 64-bit to run, you want to do that. So, 64-bit uh, version, I am going to use that. So download it. If it don't work, use 32-bit. Okay. Now here's mine right here. I'm going to double-click it and open it. I'm also going to give you a little bit of a rundown of how to save your stuff here. So <clears throat> your projects, if you already have them, they're here. And this is the directory to where your files are being saved. So mine is C users, blah, 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 and it saves it in that location. If you don't have a project, you're going to want to start a new project and choose a place for this to get saved. For this tutorial I'm gonna just save this to my desktop and I am going to create a new folder and I'm gonna call this breakout okay select current folder and there it is right there you see the breakout got generated right here I'm gonna move that and create and edit I want this to be my breakout game so I'm gonna call this breakout create and edit <coughs> okay so now if you look in this folder that you created you will see that you have some stuff here there's your icon here and um, inside of here is where you're gonna put stuff to, that you want to access whenever you're creating your game so some folders I would put in here would be sprites and I would also put a folder in here called fonts. So if you have extra fonts or extra pictures, pictures are sprites or pictures, fonts are, you know, what, what the color of the text is. I made a couple of folders in there and we'll fill these folders or fill these folders with fonts and pictures and stuff. All right, so here's um, we're getting started here at the top middle, you have a like uh, a navigation window. 2D, we're going to be making a 2D game of Breakout. If we were making a 3D game, we would be here. And this is the script window. This is basically like um, where you code stuff. Um, kind of like that repl.it website we go to. That's going to look a lot like that. So we are going to start with a 2D scene. This node holds all of our stuff as we create it. Um, <clears throat> this is our main. This is the 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 uppermost node that we're creating, and this is we're going to start creating our level one. So here is our level one. Perfect. Um, now we don't have anything in the game because there's nothing here, but we're going to go ahead and add our first object. We are going to add a kinematic body. So type K I N. You're going to notice that some are red and some are blue. The red ones are 3D models. The blue ones are 2D models. We are adding 2D models. We're, we want to do everything in 2D. I'm going to rename this to Paddle, just like that. So now we have a paddle, but nothing appeared on the screen. And so we, we have to, we actually, in Godot, you have to give it everything, all the pictures, all of everything. Let me give you another rundown right here. This blue box right here, this is your view screen. This is this this is where the person sees. This is their monitor. This is what they see. And then this is like the x-axis and the y-axis. So zero zero is right here. And you're gonna notice whenever we create something, it tries to put it at zero zero. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna give us a picture for our paddle. So I'm going to do sprite right here, create, 
and still nothing appeared. That's because we need to give it the image. So right here under Sprite, you got to give it a texture so something can show up. The only thing we have right now is this icon. So I'm going to click the icon and I'm going to drag and drop it right there. Now we have a picture. Now the thing with this is this cannot interact with anything in the world. It's just a picture. You have to, it's, it has no shape and no form. So like it, it would fall through walls or, or the floor. So we actually have to give it some, um, some substance and that is considered a collision shape. So I am going to select the paddle. Make sure you select the paddle node and you're going to hit the plus sign and you're going to say collision, C-O-L-L, -L, collision shape 2D. This is going to be something that gives our character substance so it doesn't fall through stuff. <clears throat> On the right hand side we have the shapes right here. It doesn't, it, we gave it a collision but we didn't tell it what shape the collision is. You could do a circle, you could do a square, you could do a polygon, we are going to use the 2D rectangle. So select 2D rectangle and when you do that it's going to put a box right on his nose and it's got two little circles. Use those circles to stretch the shape and fill up the box. There you go. Now after I'm done with this I might want to move my character to like the center of my screen right so I can see him. Well up here at the top you have some buttons that you can use to you to move them around if I click this move mode now I think I should be able to grab and move him right well watch what happens when I click to grab uh oh I just separated my picture from my collision shape use control Z to undo that now how can we keep that from happening we don't want to move the picture we don't want to move the shape we want to move them together Control Z undoes. Control Z, Control Z. I undid what I just did. Now, <clears throat> go to your main paddle node. Look right there. There's a little arrow right next to it. I'm hiding and opening. Those are the things that are a part of your paddle. We want to lock them all together. Uh, I'm going to call it the child safety lock. It's not actually the lock. It's the one in between the bone and the, the lock. It's this one right here. Make sure that the children are not selectable. So turn on your child's safety locks and now you can move it around. There you go. You can move it and I can put it in the center of my screen. Okay, cool. Now we haven't saved anything yet so let's, let's start with that. So we're going to do control S and this is going to be my level one since I labeled that level one it's wanting to save it right there so I'm going to hit save we got level one but when we hit play on our game it says hey you've never given me a main scene you never told me where I'm supposed to start that play button up is up here in the top right or you can push F5 so I'm going to push that play button it told me no main scene selected so I'm going to say select and I just want to use that starting scene there we go our game's running nothing moves nothing works yet so we are going to need to add some code to this guy our paddle so he can move around I am going to select the paddle and right up here in the top right there's a little scroll with a plus sign click that and click create this looks like repl.it and this is where we're going to put our code to make our guy move. If you will click this online docs button, you can get to this web page, which has some good information. We are going to go to the 2D tutorial. We are going to go to 2D movement overview. And I'm going to select that scroll down to eight way movement this is the code we're going to use for our movement so let's copy this code and let's paste it here now our paddle should not be able to move up and down so I am going to comment out up and down so these four lines have to do with moving up and down. I said ignore those lines. 
and this says right and this says left. Now, <coughs> our, our interface does not recognize left and right. Here, let me show you which ones it does. So go up here to project and do project settings. And if you'll go to the input map, you'll notice that left and right are actually UI underscore left and UI underscore right. So if they said something different, you'd want to match those up. These are our variables. They need to be exactly the same. So if you want it to move left, you have to tell it UI left or UI right. So I'm going to put UI underscore and I'm going to do UI underscore. All right, so we have left and right. Should be able to move just like a paddle. And I'm going to hit the play button. That saves our stuff. And if I use the arrow keys, left and right, it moves that. If I use up and down, it does not go up and down because I told it I don't want it to. Now, I, I like using WASD. So I'm going to go back to that project settings. So you go to project, project settings. And I'm going to add an extra button to this left and right. I'm going to hit this plus sign. I'm going to say I want to add a left button. And that is going to be the A key. So it says push a key. I'm going to push A. Now I'm going to hit OK. And then on the right button, I want a right key. I don't want it to just be the right arrow. I want it to be also the D key. So there we go. So A goes left, D goes right, as well as the left and right arrows. So now when I push play, A, A and D move it, and the arrows both move it. So I can use more buttons. Okay, I think that's enough for this video. You guys have a good day.